there lived a man named Peter. Every day, after returning from work, Peter would sit on his sofa and watch funny videos on social media. He would laugh out loud, making the whole house echo with his joy. His son, Williams, who was seven years old, often watched his father and wondered what was so funny. Peter's wife, Lillian, looked worried. She didn't understand why Peter was always so engrossed in his phone, laughing away and not paying attention to his family. One day, as usual, Peter came back from work, sat on the sofa, and started laughing while waiting for his dinner. That evening, Williams was trying to do his homework in the living room, but his father's laughter was distracting him. Curious, Williams went to his father and asked, Daddy, can I watch with you? Peter smiled and said, Sure, come and see. They both started watching the videos, laughing together, and Williams forgot about his homework. Lillian called from the kitchen, Dinner is ready, let's eat together. They all had dinner, and afterward, Peter and Williams went back to watching the funny videos. Lillian noticed and asked Williams, have you finished your homework? Williams shook his head and said, no, I couldn't focus because of daddy's laughing. Lillian then called her husband, Peter, we need to talk. She explained how Peter's habit of watching videos was distracting their son and how they hardly spent time together as a family anymore. Peter replied, after a stressful day at work, I need to relax and laugh. That's why I watched these videos. Lillian told him that it was affecting the whole family and that he needed to change. Peter promised to try and apologized. One day, Peter came home from work and was surprised to see Williams dressed in a girl's clothes, welcoming him. Peter was angry and asked, why are you dressed like this? Where did you get these clothes? Williams replied that he borrowed them from Angela, their neighbor. Lillian heard the commotion and came out. Seeing Williams in girls' clothes, she was shocked. She sat him down and asked, Why are you wearing these clothes, Williams? Williams asked, Can't a boy dress like a girl? Lillian gently explained, No, my son. As a Jesus boy, you are not supposed to wear what belongs to a girl. We should be content with what we have. God made us in his image as male and female. She then asked him to bring his Bible and showed him Genesis 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. She also showed him Matthew 19 verse 4. Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? Lillian continued, have you seen it? So, you are not meant to dress or behave like a girl because God made you in his own image. I hope you know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are not meant to behave like the people of the world. You shouldn't copy what you see in movies or on social media. That is their pattern, the pattern of the world. You are meant to be proud of how God made you to be. Lillian continued, we are not of the world, we are of Jesus. It is wrong for a boy to dress like a girl. God made you a boy for a reason, and you should be proud of that. Have you ever seen me dress like your dad or your dad dress like me? William shook his head. So, I don't understand why you should behave like that the world has its own patterns, and the children of God have theirs. We are the children of God, and we are light, and we are meant to shine our light. As the Bible says in Matthew 5 verse 16, Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. 
the pattern of the world is darkness, and darkness must not overcome the light. You are a light, and you must overcome darkness. Williams felt remorseful and said, I'm sorry, mom, then she said it okay. Peter then spoke to his son, son, I am so sorry for exposing you to that type of entertainment. I thought it was just normal entertainment to watch for laughs, but I didn't realize it wasn't glorifying God. We should only watch things that will bring glory to God. Okay, now smile for me. Don't worry, I am not angry with you anymore. Come here, that's my Jesus boy. God bless you. The moral lesson of this video is that 1. Parents greatly influence their children's behavior and values. Peter's habit of watching funny videos made Williams focus more on entertainment than his homework. This shows how important it is for parents to be aware of their actions and the example they set for their kids. 2. It's important for parents to relax after work, but they should also spend quality time with their family. Peter's constant use of his phone took away from family time, highlighting the need for parents to actively engage with their family. 3. Parents need to guide what their children watch. Lillian's discussion with Williams shows it's important to explain and discuss the content children are exposed to, making sure it fits with family values. 4. The talk between Lillian and Williams about gender roles shows the importance of understanding and being happy with who you are based on your beliefs. Children should be encouraged to be content with themselves and not feel pressure to follow trends. 5. Peter's constant laughing and focus on his phone distracted Williams from doing his homework. This shows how parents' behavior can affect their children's ability to focus on important tasks. 6. Peter's habit of watching videos alone reduced the time spent with his family. Quality family time is crucial for building strong family bonds and providing emotional support. 7. Without supervision, Children may imitate behaviors or ideas from media that don't align with family values or are inappropriate for their age. Williams dressing in girls' clothes after seeing such content is an example. 8. Without proper guidance, children might adopt behaviors and ideas from media that conflict with their family's values. Lillian had to correct Williams' misunderstanding about gender roles, showing how important it is for parents to teach and reinforce their values. 9. Without proper guidance, children might adopt behaviors and ideas from media that conflict with their family's values. Lillian had to correct Williams' misunderstanding about gender roles, showing how important it is for parents to teach and reinforce their values. And lastly, parents' actions and habits greatly impact their children's development and understanding of the world. It's essential for parents to be aware of their behavior, balance leisure with family time, and guide their children in watching content that aligns with the family's values and beliefs. If you are blessed with this video, please kindly subscribe, like, follow, and I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment below. Thank you.